My Super Psycho Sweet 16. My Super Psycho Sweet 16 is a 2009 American slasher film based on the MTV show My Super Sweet 16. The film follows two girls, outcast Sky Rotter Lauren Manite and the spoiled Madison Penrose Juliana Gill, who hosts her Sweet 16 at an abandoned roller skating rink where a masked killer begins murdering the party patrons. Plot. Madison Penrose is preparing for her Sweet 16. She wants to have her party at the Roller Dome, a once popular roller skating rink with a violent history. A flashback reveals that Charlie Rotter was the owner and entertainer of the Roller Dome. One day during a birthday party, Charlie is humiliated in front of everybody, including his six-year-old daughter Skye, by an ungrateful teenage boy named Craig. Later that same night, Craig and his girlfriend, Karen, break into the Roller Dome. They are brutally murdered by Charlie, who's dressed up as the Lord of the Rink. Young Skye witnesses the murders and calls the police. They find him in the basement and, upon arresting Charlie, discover that four more bodies in oil bins. While being transported to prison, the van crashes and Charlie appears to have died. Ten years later, Skye is now an outcast, picked on by her classmates because of her father's crimes. One morning, she has a flirtatious moment with Madison's ex-boyfriend. This is seen by Olivia, one of Madison's best friends. Olivia immediately rushes to tell Madison, who's with their other best friend, Chloe, and Madison decides that Skye needs to be punished. Later that same day, after swim class, Skye arrives at her gym locker to see that it's covered with paint and her clothes are cut up. Madison's friend Lily arrives and tells Skye who destroyed her stuff, then admits that she actually dislikes Madison and encourages Skye to try and get revenge. Skye refuses and tries to leave but is stopped by Madison, who picks on her. Afterward, Skye is walking home and Briggs sees her while driving by. He reverses back to offer a ride, which Skye reluctantly accepts. During the drive, Brig asks Skye to hang out Saturday night, and she accepts. The next morning at school, Madison hands out invitations to her sweet 16 and invites Brig, which interferes with his plans with Skye. While hanging out after school, Skye's best friend Derek says he wants to sneak into Madison's party, and she should join him. Skye initially refuses since it's where her father committed his crimes, then Brig then arrives. He explains to Skye why he's going to the party and says he will make it up to her. Not believing him, she tries to say that they aren't going to work out, but Brig kisses her and says that he really does want to spend more time together just on a different day. When he leaves, Skye decides that she's going to crash Madison's party. Skye texts Lily for help, and she leaves a door in the back unlocked for Skye and Derek to sneak in. Once inside, Skye leaves Derek to find Brig, and Derek tries to find a girl to talk to but is seen by one of Madison's friends, Kevin. The party planner is then killed by Charlie, who actually survived the crash. Skye finds Brig, and they start roller skating together while Derek finds Lily, and they start talking. Lily reveals that she snuck in some vodka and asks Derek to find punch to mix it with. Derek walks off but is grabbed by Kevin and his group. While Kevin tells Madison that Derek crashed, she finally sees that Skye's also there. Chloe assures Madison that she and Olivia will do something about her. Derek is let out of the cage by a drunk Lily and they begin making out. Kevin, who also wants to do something about Skye, takes Charlie's Lord of the Rink costume and pretends to be her father. Skye spots Kevin dressed up and immediately walks over to him, but when she realizes it's not her dad, Kevin laughs and mocks her until she cries. Once she's gone, Charlie pops up and bludgeons Kevin to death. 
Chloe tasks Olivia with leading Sky to the bathroom so she can be sprayed down with a fire extinguisher. But while waiting for Olivia to do her part, Charlie finds Chloe and beats her to death. While looking for Sky, Brig ends up in the VIP room and is ambushed by Madison. She kisses him and he momentarily kisses back. Unknown to either of them, Skye witnesses this and leaves the room upset. Brig realizes he doesn't want Madison anymore and tells her to back off. Skye goes to her father's old office, calls Derek, and tells him she wants to go, but he refuses to leave until he talks to Lily again. Meanwhile, Lily is outside keying Madison's new car, and when she finishes, the car turns on. Charlie is behind the wheel and uses it to chase Lily away from the building. She runs up a stairwell and tries to escape onto a busy street. Brig finds Skye and tries to explain himself, but she doesn't want to listen. When Madison's father starts giving a birthday speech, Olivia gives up on finding Chloe and goes to use the bathroom. She finds Chloe's body in one of the stalls and tries to run out to the crowd, but Charlie appears and decapitates her. Frightened, everyone leaves except for Madison and Skye. Madison accuses Skye of ruining her party and starts getting physical with her before Charlie appears, locking the front exit. They try to run out the back, but their path is blocked by the gutted party planner. Charlie then surprise attacks Madison. They are able to get away and reunite with Brig, who came back for Skye. Charlie reappears and chases Skye, Brig, and Madison to the edge of a balcony. Eric flashes spotlights in Charlie's face, distracting him long enough for Skye and Madison to escape. Brig begins fighting with Charlie, but when the girls reach the dance floor below, Brig is thrown off the balcony. Believing Brig is dead, the rest try to run to the exit. Charlie grabs Madison and knocks her out, then catches up to Derek and starts strangling him. Skye begs her father to spare him and Charlie tosses him outside, relocking everyone else in the building. Madison wakes up in the basement with Skye, both their hands tied to a table. Charlie then unties Skye, gives her a knife, and tells her to kill Madison. Skye initially pretends to comply but decides to stab Charlie instead, and knocks over a cabinet to pin him to the ground. Skye rushes to free Madison but struggles with the ropes. Losing patience, Madison begins insulting Skye and blames her for the deaths at her party. Once untied, Madison shoves Skye to the ground so she can get to the exit first, but Charlie reaches out and grabs Madison's leg. While she's struggling with Charlie, Skye rushes to the exit but hesitates to leave. She looks back at Madison, who's hurling another insult and yelling at her. When Madison frees herself, Skye decides to close the gate and lock her inside with Charlie. Skye goes back upstairs and sees police enter the building, telling them where her father is before leaving. She runs into Derek outside, but ignores him and steals Madison's new car. When the police arrive in the basement, Charlie's gone and Madison's throat is slit. A few days later, Brig wakes up late one night in the hospital. Skye arrives and brutally stabs him to death. Brig frantically awakens and a nurse comforts him. He asks the nurse where Skye is, but she tells him no one has seen her. A nurse leaves the room and Brig turns over on his side, seeing a drawing that Sky left on the table next to him. Cast Julian Agill as Madison Penrose Lauren Menight as Sky Rotter Lauren Eichner as Young Sky Chris Zilka as Brig Matt Angel as Derek Alex Van as Charlie Rotter Maya Osman as Olivia Susan Griffith as Chloe Joey Napo as Kevin. Leandra Terrazano as Lily. Rick Rates as Mr. Penrose. Kathleen Batson as Mrs. Penrose. Shannon Eubanks as Aunt Sarah. Chad Manite as Party Planner. 
Damien Haas as Craig. Brittany Lavender as Karen. Production. Director Jacob Gentry worked on the film with his longtime friend Alex Motlog. Gentry was not a fan of reality shows, figuring they are the lowest form of entertainment you have. But once he started watching the series that the producers were trying to base the movie on, he had a realization that it's the perfect scenario for a horror film. Gentry went on to say he's aware that the film is clearly in the slasher genre where there are rules viewers expect will be followed. He adds it's like playing the blues. You want to give it your spin, but you don't want to interrupt the formula too much. You still have to play the blues. In this case, we don't want to reinvent the wheel. Filming took place in Atlanta, where Gentry and Motlog grew up. The film never mentions Atlanta, but it does show the city's skyline at the very end. Gentry told radio and TV talk, There are things shown that makes it clear it's Atlanta if you know Atlanta. One of the characters, Madison, also makes reference to flying a stylist in 3,000 miles from Los Angeles, making it evident that the film is set somewhere on the East Coast. Gentry added, We also wanted to make it every city, not too region-specific. We wanted it to connect with anyone. The high school scenes were mostly filmed at Henry W. Grady High School, including the library, locker room, and gym. Shots were also filmed at Sprayberry High School. All of the minor characters lived in Atlanta, making casting much easier. Thousands of girls auditioned for the role of Madison Penrose, according to casting directors, but Juliana Gill seemed perfect for the role. Soundtrack No official soundtrack has been announced for release yet, but the songs below were all featured in the film. Critical reception The film was generally well received by audiences. It delivered the network's strongest rating in the time period in over a year and a half. Among female teams, the film ranked Hash One in its time period versus all ad supported TV competition and Hash Two overall across all television competition behind only Disney. Scott Foy of Dread Central rated it too. Five stars and wrote, too much of my Super Psycho Sweet 16 is just a regurgitating of teen movie clichés with the emphasis more on the romantic triangle and teen bullying side of the plot than the masked psychopath randomly hacking and slashing party patrons. Unrated version. Airings on MTV are slightly edited. iTunes and DVD releases are uncut, featuring a bit more gore. Edited scenes include Craig's death, showing the pool stick impaling him. The party planner's corpse in the chase scene is shown longer, and Briggs' dream in the end is longer. Home release. My Super Psycho Sweet 16 was released on DVD on October 18, 2010, to coincide with the premiere of the sequel a week later on October 22. It is the unrated version and contains no special features. It is available to buy on Amazon, com, and to download on the iTunes store. Due to several complaints about the DVD just being a burnt copy of the movie, Paramount Home Entertainment announced a Blu-ray combo pack edition, but no official release date has been announced. Sequels The film was followed by two sequels, My Super Psycho Sweet 16, Part 2 2010 and My Super Psycho Suite 16, Part 3 2012.